Oh yeah, YouTube. Say how oh, yeah, YouTube, bro. Right? Oh yeah, YouTube. Yeah, we're we're here with the Jedi. And I'm sure if you're watching this video, um, many people that have a 7300 like me are cringing. Uh, well, they're not really cringing, but um, I assume will be. When they get to the stage where they're about three years old, the backup battery dies, uh, which is a bit annoying. And uh, the backup battery in the 7300 is only really used for the clock. So uh, what we're going to do is we are going to take off the battery that's on the board and we're going to run a couple of cables out and we're going to have an external battery pack with two um, rechargeable cells in it which will have the capacity to keep it happy for years and years um, your settings and all that stuff they're they're all stored on the SD card so um, they're not really uh, you know the battery is only for the clock and the date so We'll get it asunder here and uh, we'll come back to you then and show you what we're at. Okay, so she's in the nip here. I right, see the board out, Ray. Right? Sorry, in the way. And that there is the battery. So we're going to take that off the board and uh, put in a battery pack. <laughs> Can you see it now? Yeah, just about. <laughs> yeah, see. Mm. Go with the urn, go with the hot air. Whatever you want. You're the boss. Uh, I think we go with the urn. And the hot air might roast the shagging thing. Looks like a Very much over three years old. That battery is quite dead. Yeah, so it's nice, boys. You're only going to be able to Oh, they're There we go. That's the offending item. Just clean up your pads now. So what we're gonna do is we're going to put an external battery pack on it um, with a couple of we'll solder that when we put the board back in get it. yeah you can get it and from the top bring the wires in from the back yeah. instead of having to cut them off the back mm. the box again oh what's that do you need that bit no probably 
What's that for? Carmen transfer, is it? Yeah. They don't leave you much room, do they? No, they never do. That was one. There we go. Don't forget to reconnect him now before you put the front back in. Well, I'll be put the front back on that when we solder the wires on. Yep. So, there's our little battery pack we're going to use. Just take a couple of like double ASLs, the rechargeable breed. Oh, sorry, right? It's actually quite neat the way they they done it. It's just like a cast chassis and it's got four sections in it. All the seven series uh, icons with the same modular compartments. Hmm. Of course it's probably, you know, the cheapest way to do it. This is Ray's first time in the 7300, he's popped it, popping his cherry here. I don't I don't think you've even have one, had one here, Ray, have you? What, cherry? Uh, no, 7300. No. There's a cherry tree outside, alright. Did you actually manage to beat the boards to some of them this year? No, oh, yeah. Now these ribbons, you need to be very careful with these as they're super fragile ah, and big big fingers don't help no of course you'd be tempted to, some people might be tempted to go ahead with a tweezers or something like that that wouldn't be a good idea very careful with them we popped out the, the two little uh, diodes for to do the transmit mod on it as well so like stuff like this so a surface mount it's incredibly small I wouldn't even attempt it you need to know what you're doing for this stuff now we're just going to go in either side of the, the USB chassis or socket. Don't want to be drilling any holes in the back. There's enough room there to get in. With a couple of wires. Mm -hmm. One either side. And just strip them off, tin them and solder them on. That's it, job done. Let's reassemble the, the rest of the radio and put the covers back on, pop in your batteries 
And job done. Is that hinged there or is it just on pins? No, there's two um there's two locating pins. Ah yeah yeah. On the, the bottom. Some of them there are a lot of the radios there it's actually hinged, which is a better yeah, job. Get the bottom on forced. Yeah. Then put it on the and top. Then, then the top end goes just clicks in. Ray says once he gets his new uh, shed sorted all out here, he's going to be doing. You're going to be doing YouTube live stuff, Ray, is it? Or are you going to? Yeah, yeah if probably we, live. Yeah. If we can get the uh, damn bloody streamer to to work, I'm just at the moment I'm getting stupid error messages from YouTube that there's not enough data to maintain the stream. I don't know if it's the PC or the connection itself. Must be. It's one or the other anyway, it's a joke. Yeah. So when I get that money when I'm worth is at the moment in here. Ah, so. Yeah, once you get cable out here. Uh, well, fun. I had cable in the old shack and I was getting the same problem. I don't know if I had something to do with the update um, of that. Ray is a big fan of Windows. Yeah, whim, dolls. <laughs> yeah. Big fingers don't come in too handy in this. No. Yeah. Just one left then. They're fiddly. I hate them. Mm. Two things I hate. It's in. Ribbon cables and UKFME prompt. Well, that type of ribbon connector anyway. Yeah. I don't like. So that's it. You just slap that's the it. cases back on then and it should be good to go. So that is how you sort out uh, your backup battery. Are these the right cases, George? They're not fitting right. Uh try them try them. That's it. No, that's no, it. no, no, no. No. Inside out, Red. Try it inside out. That way? No. This way. Yeah, I think it goes that way. Right. See, it's handy enough when you put it on upside down because they leave these these PCB spacers on. Oh, yeah. And it stops us sliding around on the desk. So, that's how you sort out the backup battery. You could put... Uh, a battery holder in there for a CR20, what's the one right, the normal one? Uh, 2032 or 3.5. Yeah. But I just went for the option to have it external because for two reasons. One, if anything happens with the battery, I can get to it without opening the radio. And uh, secondly, the, the cells, the AA cells have that much capacity that uh, not in a month of Sundays will the radio be able to drain them, like, you know. Oh my Dis disregard those first two examples. The, t the real reason is he's afraid to wear out the screwdriver. No, I'm not afraid of wearing out the screwdriver, but I just have no business inside one of them. A man has to know his limits. I ain't got no business in there. See lads buying big expensive radios there and they haven't got them out of the box and they have the lid off, you know. Making them better. Yeah, I knew somebody like that once. Bought a 901, brand new in the box, got home, 
friend of his called in a few minutes after he got the radio home he had it on the kitchen floor with the covers off twiddling it reason being the needle wasn't going bouncing wasn't. off the back of the scale there was something wrong with the radio because the needle didn't bounce off the back yeah lots of lads like that Right, so anyway, that's how you sort that out anyway, and uh, hopefully you found this video useful, so we'll leave it here. And uh, thanks a lot, Ray, for helping us out. No problem, George. Alright, so it's the next day, um, radio is all plumbed back in, hasn't been turned on in 24 hours. So we'll fire it up now, and turn on the supply. See, does she keep time? Perfect. Quite pleased with that. So <clears throat> that's how uh, I went about sorting it out. External battery pack. You could do it internally if you wanted to, but I decided to go with it external. In case that never happens, you don't have to open the radio, so. Uh, 7-3, and we'll get you in the next one.